Rasmus Hoyland has just signed for Manchester United for £72 million all the way until 2028. Rasmus Hoyland has just realised his dreams. Yes, yes, a boyhood Manchester United fan living his dreams, signing for the club that he's been supporting since he was young. And what a wonderful news, sweet news for Manchester United fans. So just to say, oh, I really love this. Just to sell it a bit more. A boyhood Manchester United fan, young, 20 as well, just signed for Manchester United. And of course, Manchester United fans love a young 20-year-old striker especially when they are a Manchester United fan as well. It just makes it even sweeter. But guys, just before we even kick in, we, before we get set in, we also have Manchester United who just beat Lens 3-1 and we will be discussing all of that today in today's latest news, guys. Make sure you subscribe to Red United TV before we kick off. Become a member as well. Join the Red United TV community. Bunch of perks, bunch of a decent addition as well. And remember to sus to follow Red United TV on Instagram as well. We're approaching 17,000 followers, guys. So make sure you continue to follow. And if you want to follow me personally, follow me i avoid underscore spice as well same for instagram for the personal and remember to follow red united tv on twitch as we continue to grow let's get started guys because rasmus hoyland has just signed for manchester united for 72 million pound and of course we finally got our striker ten Hag has got his striker as soon as the season is about to kick off because we play wolves next week and again we're playing the big bad wolves we want our all our players in and Compared to last season, Eric Tenog himself has finally got all of his players just before we start off the season. And it's wonderful news because it means we can really, really implement the new style of play. Rajmish Holland again, let's go straight into it, guys, has signed for Manchester United. Look at him, happy and proud. Look at that display picture. He's so proud. Look at that stern face. Like, he's not here to play, living his dream. Manchester United have, can confirm that. Rasmus Holland has joined Manchester United on a contract running until 2028 with an option for a further year subject to international clearance. At the age of just 20, the striker has scored 27 goals in 87 club appearances, including 10 in Italy for Atlanta last season. Already a senior international, Hoisland has scored six goals in his six appearances for Denmark. Rasmus Holland says... It's, it is no secret that I have been a fan of this great club since I was a small boy and I dream of walking out at Old Trafford as a Manchester United player. It's incredible, excited by this opportunity to turn that dream into a reality and I am determined to repay the faith that the club has shown in me and it's still early in my career but I know that I'm ready to make this step up and play with this group of world-class players. Once I've spoken to the manager, I knew that this environment would be the perfect for my development. I am realizing the opportunity to work with one of the best coaches in the world under the guidance and support. I know that I'm capable of achieving great things together with my new teammates at this special club. John Myrtle as well goes to say that Rasmus Hoyland is truly an exceptional talent. He possesses technical and physical attributes which rank him amongst the best players in the world for his age group. Working under Eric Ten Hag and his coaches will provide Rasmus Hoyland and the perfect development platform. Everyone across the club will ensure that he is given the time and all the support required to reach his immense potential and of course guys he has immense potential throughout the summer we have acted quickly and decisively to secure our primary targets early in the transfer window this will ensure that eric and his coaches have the best opportunities to prepare the squad to push for further success in the exciting campaign ahead Sky Sports as well then goes on to say, breaking down the, the move as well, Manchester United will pay Atlanta an initial £64 million with an ad over £8 million in add-ons for Rajmis Hoyland. The 20-year-old has signed again a five-year contract with an option of an additional 12 months. Hoyland has joined fellow summer signing Andre Onana and Mason Mount at Old Trafford. And if you look at Rajmish Hoyland's stats, there you go, guys. Of course, 109 centimeters at six foot three. He's very tall 
and you know he's going to cause a lot of problems. If you look at his stats overall from last season, especially with Syria R for Atlanta, as you see, there nine goals, one in a Coppa Italian, nine in nine in Syria R and the European Championship. He's got six goals as well in four appearances, which is remarkable. Overall total of 38 appearances and 16 goals last season. So it is quite good for Rasmus Hoyland. Just again, guys, he has won two man of the match in the European Championship and for Syria, three man of the match as well. Overall, five man of the matches last season. And again, he is not the full potential, he's still raw in talent as well. So we know that Rasmus Hoyland has a lot to work with. And if you look at his position here, playing as a centre forward, 24 appearances and 13 goals and one assist. And look at the characteristics and strengths, guys. He's, he, he's, he's able to dribble as well, which is a big plus for someone who plays up front as well. But one of his weaknesses, he says, is holding on the ball and defensive contribution very weak. Uh, Ramos' style of play is likes to dribble, counter-attack and threats, does not dive into tackles. Again, we need someone that someone that can hold the ball as well, but he's not strong at that. But that can be worked on, guys. I'm a very short sure Ten Hag knows exactly what he's getting and what he can work on with this player. With Rasmus Hoyland, guys, I know you guys want the Finnish article, uh, someone like a Harry Kane or Victor Oshiman, but it won't be possible for right now, especially with the current situation with Manchester United, as well with money being a little bit tight. We need to sell to actually complete some of the rest of the signing, someone like Amrabat as well. And of course, maybe funding for another striker, which I hope so, guys, because we can't go another season if Hoysland gets injured because Marshall's injured by default. He's always injured by default. So we technically only have one real striker and, and a second option with, with Marcus Rashford. With Marcus Rashford with the ball be to his back, oh, I just hate it. But again, guys, we go back to Rashford trial and hopefully that... Ten Hag himself can mourn him, let him become a gem of a player, you know. And I'm looking forward to it as well. We finally got a striker, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts on as well. If you, are you happy with that striker situation, the striker center of Rosmish Hoyland? You guys let me know. And of course, with Manchester United beating Lens three goals to one, a goal from Anthony Rashford as well and Casemiro. Winning 3 1 with a horrible mistake from Dello to, of course, let the ball go and players from Lens just lobbing Andre Anana. And I know Andre Anana himself was furious in his heart that he should have ran straight to Dello and shouted the hell out of him, just like the way he shouted at Harry Maguire. And yes, he should have done that. I don't know why he didn't do that because, of course, we are being trolled as we speak. But Manchester United showed the, the new style of play with Andre Onana. And of course, Mason Mount playing Mason Mount with an opportunity to score as early as possible. But he didn't do that. He flopped. He embarrassed us as well. But I don't know about you guys. But Mason Mount's got a lot to improve, a lot to do to make me get sold on the Mason Mount training. You know? I can't jump on that train just like you guys can't jump on that train. Because the guys say a bit, mm. But I see the qualities there. But again, back to the new style of play, mentioned that him. Looking to play that 4 3 3. And of course, I saw that 3 1 4 1 formation where, of course, we've got three defenders at the back. And sometimes it's Shaw playing as a, as a left centre back, sometimes it's Dallow shifting as a right centre back, allowing Manchester to push a bit further. I saw that new style of play, but of course, we definitely conceded. And again, we've it hit us hard and as well with another conceded in the goal. But Manchester United turning things around with swift transitional play, quick one as well. And I really like that as well. The swift um, transitions as well. Manchester United are showing a new way of playing and it's kind of working. And of course, there are a lot to tweak, a lot to work on. And Eric Ten Hag needs to iron a few things out. But a goal from Rashford, Anthony as well setting up Rashford with an assist. Um, Rashford finishing it off, but for the slight deflection as well. And with Anthony scoring the second goal, Bruno Fernandes with an assist. Bruno Fernandes one tie pass. Manchester United opening up with a quick transition as well. Um, Gonacho doing so well. Gonacho with the assist, passing it on to Anthony. And Anthony to score, finish it off 2 1. And then a 3 1 coming from Casimir, who least expected it, guys. It just bumped off his head and he was like, oh. 
after Rashford headed it, it was like, oh, Rashford, I think it was me, you know. I definitely think it was me, but it was Casemiro's goal. Manchester United winning three goals to one. And we're looking forward to tomorrow's game as well. And next week against Wolves, the curtain raiser, guys. Guys, it has been your latest news from your boy, Ivorian Spice, as well. Remember to subscribe to Red United TV and join and become a member. And, of course, follow Red United TV on Instagram and Twitter and also Twitch, guys. As always, guys, make sure you press that notification bell. Smash that like button. Remember to keep it united, as I always say. And last but not least, remember to keep it red united because your boy is out. Peace.